Hi guys, it's me, Ryan. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a hard drive into your Alienware Aurora R11 system. And the hard drive that I'm going to use is from Western Digit, 4 terabyte drive. And why I choose this is because it can be used for a long term. And the main purpose of this hard drive is gonna be for my YouTube videos. So it's a storage drive, so I don't need anything that's faster than 5400 RPM. And if you like the content of the video or you think it is helpful, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Other than that, let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is just open the panel. And if you don't know how, you can check out my other videos. Uh, there's a video about adding RAM into your system. It show you how you open the case and as you can see the hard drive bay is right here if you buy the dual hard drive version of this Alienware system you're gonna have the hard drive in there already but in my case I only have a M2 SSD so I don't have the hard drive and recently I just started this channel as more videos that I got I noticed that it's eating up my SSD so I need some more space to put in my videos so you just want to get this hard drive bait out push this little tab and push out like that and after that you just want to put this hard drive in there like so there's some little screws you want Make sure they're all inserted and you're ready to go. You can put either way, you can put this way or you can put this way. But for convenience, I think it's better to put this way, make the connectors facing up so it's easier to insert the cord. So just insert it and Connect your power port and you set cord. And that's everything you need to do in your system. And just close the pedal. Make sure you line up everything on the bottom and close just like that and then connect the power back and now it gets to your desktop to set up the hard drive i see you there okay so after your system boot up you want to check see if you have the hard drive installed properly so you go to this pc but you don't see it right no 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 don't freak out let's go to device manage so you want to right click windows and device manager disk drives so you can see if you have that installed properly we just need to install it to the system so you click windows and you search disk management and it's gonna ask you about the new drive that you just installed so you want to choose GPT as a backup drive. Click OK. And you just need to format it. So you right click it. Click new simple value. Click next. Next. And let's just use the next. You want to name it. I want to name it as my storage so you just click next and finish and done you have it four terabyte new drive and that's everything for this video and i hope you like the content and if you find the video is helpful, definitely consider to hit that subscribe button. As always, 
please be safe and i'll see you in the next video final version two <laughs> <clears throat> Number <laughs> 3! <laughs>